Hey scholars, it's Miss Martin. Welcome back after spring break. I hope you guys enjoyed your break. Um, we're going to kick off math today with some review of everything we've done so far. So our objective today is I can review and demonstrate what I have learned about algebra so far. So for our review question on our DIN, what have we learned so far about algebra? So pause the video and fill in as many things as you can right here. OK, so we learned a lot of different vocabulary, like we learned about expressions versus equations. We learned how to combine like terms. We learned distributive property. We learned how to factor expressions. We learned how to evaluate expressions when we are given a value of X. We learned how to solve equations and we did that a couple of different ways. We did hanger diagrams, tape diagrams, and just algebra. So there's a bunch of different things we've done. I probably even missed some topics. Make sure you're filling in everything we've learned so far. For our preview, which skills do you think you are best at? So pause the video and check each of these boxes for which ones you think you're best at. So we have evaluating expressions, combining like terms, distributive property, factoring binomials, and solving two-step equations. Okay, so before we move on to our notes for today, we have some vocabulary that we need to make sure we all understand. So Pause the video and see if you can come up with definitions of these four words on your own. OK, so our first word is evaluate. Anytime we see something that says evaluate, it just wants us to find the value of blank. So we normally see evaluate this expression when X is this. And that just means that they want us to figure out how much it is. What's the number? Simplify. We can kind of think about that as combining everything that we can. So there's no numbers just kind of floating around that we can combine still together. So like if you have 7 plus X plus 8, we can put that 7 and that 8 together. Factoring is write an expression as a product. You know, product means multiplying. That just means instead of writing 48, we can write six times eight, four times 12. That's what factoring means, but we do it a lot with expressions. We have like eight X plus 16. We write that as eight times X plus two. Solve. This is what we're doing with our equations. We're solving our equations. We're finding solutions. And we just want what value for the variable makes the equation true. And by true, we mean it's the same on both sides. So what value makes it true? How is this equation same on both sides? What number is going to do that? So on our note, and I'm going to scooch this calculator down. OK, our first topic that we've done is evaluating expressions. So it says evaluate the expression negative 5x plus 8 when x equals 3. If you think you can do this on your own, pause the video and try this on your own now. OK, all we're doing when they're saying evaluate this expression, anywhere we see an x, we need to put 3. So we have negative 5x, we're going to have negative 5 times 3 plus 8. So now we can follow our order of operations, our PEMDAS, and we can do negative 5 times 3 is negative 15 plus 8. Negative 15 plus 8 is negative 7. Alternatively, we can use the calculator. So the first thing we need to tell our calculator is that X is 3. So I have my calculator right here. So I need to tell it X is three. So I'm going to hit three store X and then enter. Now my calculator is just repeating three back to me and it's like you wanted three. We wanted three, so we're good. Now we just have to type in the equation or expression here. Negative five X plus eight. So negative five X plus eight. I can hit enter. 
and we see that we also get negative seven. So our next topic is combining like terms. Simplify the expression two times three X plus four minus eight X plus two completely by combining like terms. So if you think you can do this one on your own, pause the video and try it now. Okay, first thing I'm seeing, I hate minus when we're combining like terms and simplifying expressions. So I'm gonna leave everything else the same. And I'm gonna change minus to plus negative 8x. Now let's look at each term and see if there's anything we can multiply or divide to combine within the term. This two times three X, I can multiply. Two times three X is just six X and then we'll leave everything else the same. So now we just need to combine our like terms, our X's with our X's and our not X's with our not X's. So we have six X plus negative eight X, negative two X, and then four plus two is just six. I can't combine it any further because this has an X and this does not, so we can't add them any further together. Our next skill is the distributive property. Use the distributive property to simplify the expression three times the quantity 8X minus two. If you think you can do this one on your own, pause the video and try it now. Okay, two ways we can do this. Let's start with an area model. So first let's change this minus to plus negative. So instead this will be three times 8X plus negative two. So if I wanna draw an area model for this, I'm gonna draw my rectangle, threes in front. This is ax negative two split the box at the plus sign three times 8x is 24x three times negative two is negative six so that would be 24x plus negative six the other way we could have done this is we could have distributed the three and gave everybody cake so we could have done this is three times 8x plus three times negative two, and we'd get the same answer, 24X plus negative six. Next thing we learned is factoring binomials. Factor the expression 24X minus three completely. If you think you can do this on your own, pause the video and try it on your own now. Okay, the first thing we need is the GCF. So if you don't remember how to find the GCF by looking at the numbers, we can actually type this on our calculator. So let's clear our key press history and clear this. So what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna hit the math button. We're gonna go down towards this GCD and hit enter. Now we can type in our two numbers. So we have 24 and three. Sorry, I thought I was gonna sneeze. So we're gonna do 24. And then we need this comma, so we're going to hit second decimal. Gives us that comma and then three. So now I'm going to hit enter and we see that the GCF is three. So the greatest common factor is three. So that means if we were to set this up with an area model, I know the three is out front. The inside is what's given to me here. This is the 24X and the minus three or negative three. Now we just have to figure out if I need three times something is 24, we can do 24 divided by three is eight. And we also need that X, negative three divided by three is negative one. So if we were to write this as the product of these two things, 24 X minus three is the same as three times 8x minus 1 or plus negative 1. Last thing we're going to review today is solving two-step equations. So we need to solve for x. We do that by doing our opposites. I'm going to draw my line right through the equal sign. Now I have my two sides. We're going to do PEMDAS but backwards. So the first thing we need to do is get rid of this plus 3. So if you think you can do this on your own, why don't you pause the video and try this one on your own? 
So the opposite of the plus three would be minus three. If I do it to one side, I need to do it to the other side. When I add all of this up, the plus three minus three is zero. On the left, we have X divided by five and 12 minus three is nine. To get rid of a divided by five, I need to do the opposite. The opposite of divide by five is times five. If I do it to one side, do it to the other. Now this five divided by five like that goes away. That's one. So all we have left here is X and nine times five is 45. So X equals 45. So those are our main topics that we've covered so far with algebra. So for practice, all you have to do is pick one from each topic. So you have two choices on evaluating expressions, combining like terms, distributive property, factoring, and solving two-step equations. So you're going to pick one from each of these, and then you have your exit ticket. What's one question you still have about what we've learned? So if you still have any questions about any of these topics, write it down here. And then for self-reflection, you're doing well or you need help with, and then you can fill in the blank with something specific. During class, after we're done with a few minutes of practice, we're going to get on a look at game, so make sure you're logging on to class if you're at home. And that is it for today. I hope you guys had a great spring break. I'm excited.